Okay, so I'm not fully dressed yet, but I'm doing a home day in the life. I have some stuff I want to get done. See, just bro, I need to get a shirt on. So anyway, <laughs> um, I want to start. Uh, I need to get some stuff done around the house. Hubby has dojo today, and excuse me, I was not supposed to be home today. I was actually supposed to be at my cousin's house, but she got put on on call, which basically means she's not going in today. They haven't called her yet. Knock on wood. Um. So, I am um, going to do some stuff around the house. I need to clean up my area, which I'll show you guys all of that here in a minute. And I need to, um, the kitchen needs some love, hardcore. I need to work on the bathroom a little bit. I need to sort laundry. I probably ought to be writing this down. <laughs> I have no bit in paper. Baby? Yes, my love. Can you possibly find me pen and paper? I could. Thank you. He's up wandering around. Um, and I want to work on some more baby shower decorations. I have a garland in mind that I want to make. I don't know if I record that or not. I recorded another video that hopefully goes up before this one. Because today is, it's Good Friday, April... 15th and I've edited it three times and there again the software I don't know what it's doing but it's the first time it didn't edit it right at all you couldn't replay it it says it's not playable and the second time it did the same thing and now the third time I finally thought I had it right well when I went back to review it thank you my love as you wish um, it's in that format where it's just like the smaller screen and there's black screen all around it. I don't want that. So, all right, what did I say, guys? I need to clean up my area. Uh, clean up my table. Obviously get dressed, but that's not going to list. Uh, clean up my clothes. Sort laundry. Um, baby shower decor. It's a garland. I need to write that down or I'll forget. Um, and the kitchen needs love. The bathroom could use some attention to, but honestly, I don't know. I'll go ahead and put it on the list, and then if I don't get it done, I don't get it done. So, I was watching, I don't remember who I was watching the other day, and I realized about a third of the way through her intro that she was in uh, her underwear. Like, at first I thought it was just a bikini, but then I realized, no, that's just her underwear because, like, four minutes into her folding laundry, she starts putting on clothes. I was like, that's brave. <laughs> I mean, she looked good. Don't get me wrong. She's a mama of, like, four kids, and she looked great. But I was like, dang. I don't care what my body figure is. I don't think I would ever have enough guts to go that far on camera. This is, this is pushing it, and I literally grabbed the camera and started recording before I realized I still hadn't put my shirt on and my shirt is back in the bedroom so I just wanted to get this intro done all right now that I have rambled long enough um let me get a shirt and let's get started on this day
stuff still sitting all over my stand, but my contact stuff, um, I like it there. It's where I put my contacts in and take them out every day is right here on the couch. Uh, this is a medicine cream for my knee that I use probably six times a day and it isn't going to move. <laughs> I like it handy. I like it right there. <clears throat> I feel like an old person because I have medicine by my bed. Like my Tylenol is there because I take it so often. Um, yes, that is the Mickey count, Mickey Disney countdown that I made several years ago. No, that is not an accurate countdown. So please don't take that as a clue that they something don't, they is... They don't make numbers big enough. <laughs> yeah. Don't... Ouch. Don't make me sad. Yeah. So anyway, um, don't take that as a clue. Uh, it, it's not... There's nothing on the books yet. It will happen. I'm trying my hardest to figure out how to make it happen, but it's not yet. I like this. I just think it's pretty, so it stays there. And that's just... Like right now, it's set on Easter, so there it is. And then down here, stuff that I just, I like having it handy. Um, that is actually technically a Christmas decor, but I have an idea I want to use it for at the baby shower, so I'm keeping it out. I'm actually going to move it over here to the baby shower stuff now that I think about it. I like having the gum handy. I don't know why, I just do. I like my hat handy. Miscellaneous pens, lighter, fingernail polish, you know, that kind of stuff ink pens that um, I totally always forget is there and then here I go yelling at hubby to find me an ink pen anyway now I'm going to tackle the underside of that one
I don't know if you guys saw me sorting two things or half the things or all the things. So sorry, I'm not redoing it. Hubby's like, redo it. I'm like, nope. Not redoing that one. So now it's to the kitchen. Ugh. Now, I'm going to do a preface for the kitchen. Please ignore the sweaty hair and yeah. Anyway, um, Richard and I have not paid attention to the kitchen for about three days, maybe four. Um, yesterday, all right, backstory here a little bit. Um, Tuesday I was at my cousin's all day. <sighs> Honey, did we do dishes on Monday? I don't know when the last time we did I can't was. remember, honest. honest. Yeah, it's been a, at least three days. So, I'm thinking we did them on Monday. Today's Friday. I'm pretty sure we did them on Monday. Tuesday I wasn't home, and generally... We both just get super lazy on days when I'm at my cousin's house. Especially that night, because I'm done by that night. Um, yesterday, or Wednesday, was it Wednesday? Yeah, no. Wednesday is kind of my recoup day. No, I worked Wednesday. Wednesday is when I was at Shyla's house. Because then I had to stop by the dojo. So that's what it was. Anyway. Tuesday was the last day we did dishes. Wednesday I was at Shyla's. He had dojo Wednesday night, so that means after I get done at Shyla's, I stop at the dojo and wait for him to get done teaching and pick him up. And he has to, we find a ride for him to get there, but then I pick him up, which means I'm not home generally until 8.30 or 9 o'clock. But then also on Wednesday, we had to run to Walmart and get a few things. So essentially Wednesday I got home, we got home at... It was like 10 o'clock or even a little after. And by the time we had some supper, um, I was done. Like, I crashed pretty hard. Yesterday, I planned on just recuperating, which was Thursday, and getting some rest. And we got a phone call. Michael and Jolinda's baby that she's still pregnant with, Beckett, um, during an ultrasound was not performing the way they thought he should. And so they sent her to the hospital for extra ultrasound testing or extra monitoring is what it ended up being. And because Michael had an upcoming appointment that same day, like within a couple of hours, that he could not miss, they called us to come up to the hospital. And so I sat with Jalinda and Richard went to his appointment with him. And baby Beckett is fine. Uh, it's kind of determined that the position that the doctor's office has the mommies sitting in is not good for getting good readings on the baby. Um, but once we got to the hospital and they tried to put that monitor on him, he absolutely hates any pressure being put on that tummy. And he literally was kicking on the monitor. It was so funny. Like, it would be so quiet in that room. You'd just hear his little heartbeat, you know, the thump, 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 thump. And all of a sudden you hear this thump where he kicked the little, you know, the monitors they put on the moms, like when you're in labor and stuff, they, they put one right on the heartbeat where they get the best reading for the heartbeat. And he would kick right on that spot and then it would all go all wonky and they couldn't hardly get a solid reading. Finally, a nurse came in and she literally stood there for three and a half minutes and held that monitor in place so that even when he kicked it, it would continue to work. So they could get a solid three and a half minutes of his heartbeat and get a good reading on him he's definitely his mommy and daddy's child he is so stubborn it's hilarious but um so all is good came home on the way home we had stopped by the office of our apartment complex and re-sign our lease got that done real quick got home and in the process of me talking to my mom discovered she forgot to tell our other son that she couldn't pick him up from work that day. So if Mitch, Richard made a beeline to go get Jaden and take him home, it was just one of those days yesterday. And honestly, after the kind of scare with Beckett, and I just didn't have any energy last night to do any housework, which is what I had intended to do because I was actually supposed to be at Shyla's today. And 
anyway, to kind of shorten this up for you guys, the kitchen is a disaster. Um, I did, when I took the oranges and apples in there, I did put them away. They're in the refrigerator and put away. Uh, I would like to get a basket. Maybe Hubby and I, um, here in another week or so, can go to Goodwill and see if I can find a basket for a decent price to store like potatoes in and stuff because right now I don't have any way to store them other than in the bag on the counter, which I absolutely hate. If I can at least get them in a basket or a pretty bowl, I can have them sitting on the counter and it, to me it's not as ugh, to look at. <laughs> but anyway, so when I take you in the kitchen, please don't judge. Just know, Hubby and I never let it go for more than a couple of days. Um, I think when I was sick here, a couple, well, when he was sick and I was sick, like a month and a half ago, was the longest it went. And then it was, it was a team effort that day when we did a clean in there because we were both so fed up with it. And it was just, we knew it had to get done, but neither one of us really had the energy to do it. I also want to caveat that with I can't stand for long periods of time so I do a lot of the work that I do in the kitchen while sitting on a stool um you'll see me stand periodically but I generally am sitting on a stool the entire time so let's go get that done there are some cast iron pots in there pans skillet what is it a skillet and a griddle that's what it is yes and I think I'm just gonna stick them in the under drawer of the uh oven um we need to find some. I don't use. have the muscle strength to clean them right now. Hubby, we need to, uh, he was just saying, we need to find, uh, we need to get some good steel wool <clears throat> for him to clean them with. We, we pulled them out of a storage shed that they've been sitting there for... Oh, about a year, a, a little year, over a year. Yeah. So they're, they're a little... And before that, they were in a garage Yeah, before for a that, while, they so. were in a garage. So they're not they're, usable at this point. No, they're not usable right now, but we want to get them <clears throat> usable. Um... So we're going to, I'm just going to put them away for right now and then uh, when we can get some nice steel wool bought, we will work more on getting them ready to use. Other than that, I just mainly want to get dishes done, get the counters cleaned off and wiped down. If I can get those two things done in there, I'll be happy. And really, in that kitchen, that's like all it takes because that kitchen is so small three things are out of place and it looks trashed but it's really not that bad <laughs> um hubby i'm gonna ask him to go in there and put away the cereals and the crackers because i want them in the cabinet above the stove and i can't reach up there at all uh and then after he gets done with that i'll get in there and start working but i'm going to show you a before shot and then he'll take care of that stuff for me and i'll get back in there <laughs> Here? Mm -hmm. See? Up there, where I can't reach. That's Michelle's snow zone. <laughs> you want Michelle to not eat it? Put it up there. <laughs> the best diet plan Richard could have for Michelle the storage in the kitchen. <laughs>
that stack of boxes, the box with the black lid is on top of it. Yes, the box with the white lid. one side and here's the other side get out the window cleans and really that's just, <laughs> I've had a couple of people ask when I post pictures on Instagram how do I come up with a creation or a design I don't you guys just saw it I literally just throw this stuff in there like I don't <laughs> I don't sit and pre-plan other than exactly what I'm putting in there. Like, I decided I was going to do pens this time. So, you know, obviously, <laughs> wasn't hard to figure out. But, yeah, I literally just throw them in there. <laughs> All right. My lunch is ready. Thank you, hubs. As you wish. I'm going to eat.
Yeah, buddy. And then I'll put away my mess. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.